I want to thank you for the award, and I want to say that without my co-presenters, my producers, my team, this would not be possible. Alhamdulillah, is now the longest running show in the Arab world, and consistently, always, in the top five. This kind of success did not come except with hard work, dedication, and a lot of information. We're dedicated to helping women, men, families live a better life. I grew up with the saying that information is king. I've always been obsessed with information. Loved reading anything. From the back of a cereal box to health things, all the way to The Economist, the Unity Magazine, Time Magazine, and the white papers that Baba had all over the house. The largest room always in any house we had Saudi Arabia, Malaysia, the US, Egypt, was always a library. My mother, every Friday, before the age of the internet where you can share very easily, with Xerox, uh, things that she cut out from magazines, usually on parenting, so that me and my siblings would read it. Information is king, and this is quite a description for the age of the internet and the information economy, where we live in a hyper connected, hyper-contextualized world, and where the illusion of information now is bombarding us. Information might be king, but managing information today is the difference between survival and thriving. Information has the power to inform, educate, entertain, engage, empower. And so along with the quality of information that I've worked very hard with in the show, I'm now obsessed with the morality of information. What information is needed? In which medium? How to decipher it? How to use it? How to make it go viral? In the beginning, this started when I was teaching at the university. When I was teaching at the university, it went on to my media work, thanks to Karanawan, then on to philanthropic work. But now it seeps into my entrepreneurial ventures. For example, I'm obsessed with how to use information to give college students in the Arab world better access to the latest information in their fields. They lag behind because, unfortunately, there is no such thing as translated Arabic journals. So, they graduate without knowing what's going on in the rest of the world. My co-founder, Nur al-Hassan, and her uh, company, Tarjama, is also here today. the Arab world's largest Arabic <coughs> journal translation database. I'm also obsessed with how can we use information to help women access the latest information to empower them. How can we do it through financial literacy? For example, a micro-investing program that can create wealth for them. How do we use information to translate those tools into a better life for them. Information is key. Responsible media can help people find the right piece of information to change their lives. But in the end, it's always the individual himself or herself. With each click on the mouse, with each share and post, with each press on the button, who consciously and actively determines how to use that information. Information is key, but knowledge this forum, an ecosystem for excellence in leadership.